Wow. Wow, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've talked. And the reason is I've been around, I've been going going to the States, talking to friends that are NFT experts, big, big, big Bitcoin holders, and just learning what's going on. And I'm here to tell you that we're still going to the 200 week moving average. We're going to take some time, but we're going down to the 200 week moving average. We might even see a recovery bounce here up to like, say, 36K, maybe, maybe even like 40K. That'd be a big push, but it's possible, right? It's all, it's all possible. It's possible that we do actually make it up really high and come back down, but it's unlikely, right? The, the likely trajectory right now is that we continue. We continue going down towards the 200 week moving average. And how I see it happening is probably just continuing this trend, right, over time. And maybe, maybe for about mid-June is actually when I expect that we can, we could, we could hit the 200-week move, mid-June. And that would be magical if we could do mid-June. It would really, really be interesting if we could do mid-June. Because um, the wait would be over. We could get our positions in and then we just play the waiting game. Because the 200 can will continue going this way. And then we will bounce probably for some time up and down. And eventually, when the target, when, when the things all work out, when the, you know, when enough of the, the, the things have shaken out, then we will bounce up, right? But it'll be some time, I suspect. I don't think we're going to go to the moon directly, like immediately. I doubt it. I, it doesn't seem that way. It doesn't seem there are enough catalysts for that to happen, especially in the summer, because historically, the summer is the worst time to invest in these kind of things. Invest in anything almost. Equities to crypto, it's not a great time to invest because everything's coming down. So I've been looking at NFTs and I've been thinking, oh boy, I really want to buy this NFT and let me show you the NFT I want to buy. It's, oh boy, it's so bright. Um, let's see, how do I bring this down? Um, let's go, oh, let me take, whoops, one sec. So if I go to OpenSea, um, let me see if I can show you. It's going to be a RFTK. Is it RFT? Okay. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. RFKT. It's a clone. So my friends at clones, and I want to be part. I want to be my. I want to be. Oh, what? Well, no one said RFKT. Why is this being so hard? Clone X. Um. Yeah, it's one of these. So these are like these are pretty. Wow, this is actually pretty interesting. This one. What a weird looking. <laughs> I like his outfit. So th th these are like some of the potentials that I'm thinking thinking of buying. So something in the 10 to 20 uh, Ethereum range. But the thing is, I don't think right now is the time to buy these things. I think the price is going to go lower. The reason I think the price is going to go lower is because all of these things are going to crash towards Bitcoin. And what I mean by that, let me let me clarify because you're probably like, what what are you talking about? Let's go check out ETH. Right. Let's go see ETH, uh, ETH USD. Now ETH had an interesting day today, right? For a, for a while now, it was holding up. Like last week and the week before, we're on the weekly chart. It was really holding up, and we were like, "What is going on here? Like, why is ETH holding up so well?" It didn't even close below the 100 week moving average, which is a dark blue line, right? And like Bitcoin, it closed below the 100 week moving like weeks ago, right? And it like really dipped. Now Ethereum finally came down. Finally. And now we're at 17,300. I see Bitcoin, Ethereum coming down way lower. Like I see Ethereum hitting this 200 week moving average well before Bitcoin hits it. And the reason is people are going to start moving away from these altcoins, right? And this, and I, I'm picking on Ethereum, but we could also check Solana, right? I know, I know a lot of you guys are into Solana. So let's check Solana. Where is it? Sol, USD. Is it going to give me USD? Let's go. <sighs> Why is this always such a pain? Um, come on, man. Oh, USD. Sorry, I just had some fries, and I'm definitely like also thinking about the fries. And so you see, Lana has gone below the 100 week movie, and you might be thinking, well, hold on, why isn't there the line coming? The, the data, there isn't enough data for Solana. Solana is a relatively new coin. But Solana's below the 100 week moving average, and ETH recently crossed below the 100 week moving average. So it's you know, Solana has been, and so like they kind of actually look pretty similar. What we're going to see now is we're going to see Bitcoin dominance really kick in. And what does that mean? What's Bitcoin dominance kicking? 
Bitcoin dominance effectively means that more people are going to shove their money into Bitcoin than they are into altcoins. This includes Solana, even Ethereum, which you could consider a blue chip. All, the, all these holders will sell their ETH and buy Bitcoin. And the reason they'll buy Bitcoin is because it's the safest hedge, right? It's the safest place to put cash. People are probably even nervous to keep their stable coin, right? Uh, seeing what happened to um, that, that coin recently. I forgot the name. In fact, I don't want to mention the coin. I didn't lose any money, but I had a friend that did. But I, there are people that have lost millions or hundreds of thousands or their life savings. So that's really sad. Um, what we're going to see is Bitcoin have a lot more dominance. And what we're going to see in the price here is these things come down even further. And so how, how far are they going to go? They're going to go down to the, one, the 200 week moving average, probably a lot quicker. Because you see that... ETH is now only $700 away, which is about 30% away from the 200 week moving average, right? And what's Bitcoin at? Let's go take a look. Bitcoin right now is about 20% away, 22% away. It's not that far, right? So ETH has more to go. ETH has more to go, but it's going to make up for this this laggard behavior because more people are going to take their money out of bitcoin but out of ethereum and move it into bitcoin really soon it's not going to it's it is a short-term thing and we're going to get to the 200 week moving average relatively quickly i see it happening as early as mid-june i don't see it happening earlier than that and the reason is there's another chart that i can't pull up here that i have that really shows what's possible right now what's not possible it's just not possible like these bands don't allow for it Sorry, I had like two consecutive days of gym, so like, I need to drink my drinks. But yes, this is what I think is going to happen. I think it, I think I, I we can definitely see expect to see a eleven hundred dollar ETH, possibly lower, right? I mean, I don't know how how much lower will go. Of course, there are events that can make this happen like a lot faster and a lot harder. Like you might think, like if we go back in time a little bit, let's go back in time. We see that, and so you, we can see that the 200 week moving average, uh, the, the, sorry, the yeah, 200 week actually ends here. But you can see these lines of capitulation, right? Like these wicks that come down all the way to the 300 week moving average. So this is very interesting. Like these are the type of things that you got to kind of watch out for. And these are, this is the COVID event that really brought it down. And this was another event. I don't know what happened in December 2018, but this really brought the price down too. So it's entirely possible that we sink well below the 200 week moving average. And I actually like to look at Bitcoin because there's more consistent data. Like here's the COVID crash. And you see that it went down to 300 week moving average, which is right here. So like, you know, if we bought here at 5,500, let's just call the 6,000. And you're like, yeah, I got a great deal. Well, like, you know, that same week, you ended up going down to like 3,000, basically. It's like half the price. It's like, oh my God. Imagine how gut-wrenching that would have been. Like just that whole process. It's really absurd. In in 2018, we actually stopped right at the at the um, the 200 week moving average, um, and and we see it this the same story repeat roughly here and there, right? Like here we we didn't go part all the way down to the 300 week moving average, but we went down a little further, right? Like we went from 230 to 200, it seems like about 200, and the data really stops because this is a 200 week moving average, and 200 weeks prior, which is four 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 years, isn't available, but you can see. You can see how this all pans out. Um, I think what you need to concern yourself with and what I'm concerning myself with is having my buy orders ready to buy at these levels, right? 22.5 is really like my spot. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to buy a 22.5. It's a little above the 200 week moving average, but I'm happy to buy there just in case we only get a wick down or something else happens. I'm probably going to buy 50% of my bag there. And then I'm going to wait and see what happens because we might get a wick a little lower, right? If I can average out to like maybe 20K, that'd be great because 20K, 5X is just wonderful. I'm like, I'm really happy to see a 5X from there. Like 100K Bitcoin is not not like completely infeasible, right? It's not like, it, it's not a crazy moonshot. If I can 5X my money, that'd be wonderful. And then anything from there is gravy. So I'm happy to go from there. Though, this being said, I'm not a long-term holder of Bitcoin. And the reason is the multiples aren't high enough, right? That's a 5X to 100K. But if you go to Ethereum, which I'm a lot more interested in, right? If, you, if we get down to the 200-week moving average and we get to $1,000, and then we rock it up to $7,000, which is completely reasonable, right? It's not That's not a very crazy number to get to because we, we went as high as, what, 4,800, almost 5,000? 7,000 is not that high. 
we get to a thousand and we go seven that's a seven x in one cycle that's absurd give me that i'm very happy to take that and that's that's pretty conservative if we really have a crazy bull market we could probably take it up to like nine ten maybe eleven right and that's those are the numbers that i like to play with like the 10x yeah give me that in a short period of time so this is what i'm thinking i'll probably end up buying um eth right around here somewhere but really around the thousand mark, but it's possible that we see ETH fall down further. Now, I don't, as you know, analyze the ETH, uh, Ethereum as much as I do Bitcoin. And the reason is Bitcoin's really the market leader here, right? Whatever Bitcoin does is what everyone else does. Everyone else doesn't really have an opinion. It's like if Bitcoin falls, everything else falls. Now they can hold off for a little bit of time, but eventually everybody capitulates, right? Everybody lets fear set in and they eventually, Go back into Bitcoin or go into a stable coin. And right now, because of what happened with you know who, uh, that's not happening. And that's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. I'm holding all my cash in BUSD and I really hope, I really hope nothing happens because it would be devastating. I would be devastated if something happened. Um, let's wait and see. Let's wait for those big volume candles to kick in we saw this but it's not huge let's see we got to wait a couple more days maybe we'll see a really big one it's very unlikely that this is the bottom we might stop at 25k a little bit and hold there and bounce up at 25k that's a good place to bounce um but i still like, i heavily believe we're going down to the 200 week moving average as i've been saying for weeks i think months now i gotta find that video the last video i did to really uh nail this in and uh, let's talk again tomorrow. But before we go, let's just go see what the morning market is. Also, have you noticed? Oh, boy, this is not looking good. <laughs> this is not looking good. Okay. Uh, NASDAQ has uh, decoupled, or let's say Bitcoin is decoupled from NASDAQ. Because NASDAQ didn't have a terrible day. It actually had a green day, right? I mean, I'm on the weekly chart, but it had a green. Let's just see. Okay, I'll, I'll take it positive. Let's, let's, take it. let's see what the daily is. So it had a green day right and now it's having a bit of a red day but i had a green day it had six consecutive green days and what did we see for bitcoin we didn't see that right for bitcoin we've actually have we've been having negative days um and i like i don't want to be the guy that said i told you so but we're going to get to the 200 week moving average right and that's the place you want to buy bitcoin at least ethereum might want to buy somewhere else i'm not sure I'm going to have to start doing some analysis on it because that is that is where I want to drop my cash. And when we hit that to when we hit what I consider Bitcoin to be a good place is when I'll go and buy one of these um, these things and I'll change my profile picture to it. Right. And I'll and I'll change my Instagram and everything to it as well. And I'd be it'd be really cool. I kind of like some of these features like um, this mouth and the and the red eyes. And there's actually one where it's like um, it's a. Um, what is it? Uh, wow, I didn't see this one before. This is kind of cool because I'm I, I do wear glasses sometimes. In fact, that's probably something. Wow, look at this! Like this is unbelievable. Like look at the price. Like it was at, there was it it was, two hundred or something. I'm not sure what it was. Okay, I see. So this is interesting. So like, so the the like I have a friend. His name is Michael, and he's an expert at this stuff. And he's been telling me how to like analyze these things and see that this is 15% below. So it seems like the floor price is about 20k, and at basically 34k, 57. So we're like pretty far ahead. So you really want to get around the floor price to make this like a reasonable purchase because you know it won't it won't be too bad. So I probably want to do something like that, and we'll see. But I I kind of like this like. Kind of matches my skin tone and all that stuff. Um, and he's a little nerdy. That's kind of cool. A little chilled out. I wish he wasn't bald because I'm not bald. But I suppose I'll be bald at some point. So maybe, maybe it all works out. Anyways, aside from that, I think this is this is it. I will uh, chat with you guys tomorrow and um, have a wonderful night.